You're fat and you talk like a moron. I never had a desire to go into the middle. I can't get enough dicks in my body. I'm the GOAT! Fuck, April fucking never comes. What do you know, you fun up? Ribbit, motherfucker. That's what I'm saying, Bob. I can't come. Fucking my heart's racing like 10 motherfucking thousand feet. That's must. Do 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 do. Cunt. Oh, hey, Froggy. We're live from my parking lot. Julie's Jewish. He can't help it. And I don't mean that as a joke. Always remember, Julie is a dirty, dirty hot dog stand. We stand with penis. It's almost incomprehensible for a man of my intelligence to ingest. Oh, oh I get the finger. Oh, hey, my black play. Oh, hey, Mr. Hey, ho, hey, ho, retarded. Oh, hey, my NGA. Penis is 100% right. Oh, hey, my Nambla representative. Oh, hey, let me see your dick. Oh, hey, underage child. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I'll suck your dick. Here we are, everybody. How are you? Wow, producer Joe, you know good guy. You know good guy. Ribbit, motherfucker. Oh, hey, Mr. Hey, ho, hey, ho, repotted. Stay tuned for an emergency show. I appreciate the even spring. Love, Julie's ball. Hey, penis. How old's him? Do I have to pay for it? Joseph Von Garibu. Wait, uh oh. Wait, hold on. Can you? Let's watch the dues pay up. Point, devil point. A 
Stuttering John Melendez Roundtable Discussion. Good afternoon, everyone. How are we doing? Welcome to Point Dabble Point. That's right, a roundtable discussion in This Week in John. Uh, joining me, you know him, you love him, patreon.com slash Cardiff Electric, the one and only Cardiff Electric. Thank you. Thank you for representing Always represent, you know that potato. <laughs> and uh, his arch nemesis, his demon that he will have to defeat one day in order to be successful, Carl H E R B E G E R Herberger in the house. What is happening, Shuli? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you too. We are also awaiting one more guest that will be here shortly. Um, but uh, let's start. I mean, a lot to talk about as we do every week, gentlemen. Uh, you know, a topic that I would like to kick uh, off uh, this week's episode is uh, Stuttering John's meltdown, his uh, his meltdown against Melton, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Uh, Melton has uh, entered you have to be the, specific. Yes. Well, that's why I was teasing it. I was teasing it. it could you know, Dash. It could have been Melton. It could have. <laughs> could have been we'll Vince. get to we'll get to all of them on the list. Oh, but let's good. start with Melton, who has entered the ring of honor of doxing, uh, or so we think. I don't know. John's posting pictures of what he claims to be Melton's wife. Uh, you know the usual stuff. Uh, let's go around the horn, gentlemen. Your thoughts, Carl? I saw that apparently Melton still owes money on his house. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Could you imagine you're paying off a mortgage, you still own money on it? Unbelievable. Uh, I, you know, I don't think that the devil verse might be too much for a guy like Patrick Melton. He might be best to just remove himself from this because after showing his attractive wife, well, you can kind of see his attractive wife. John had to move out of the way, of course. He has no idea how to post something in the foreground for some reason. But is she attractive? According to John, she has eyes and a nose, and you yeah. know that's weird, right? When he started, t- when he started talking big about her, eyes. her big blue eyes, I was just like, oh, gosh, how horrible. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants a huge pair of eyes staring back at up, fucking staring idiots. up at them. Yeah, and and again, he's <laughs> even got, he can't even get out of the way of, of his own picture to show it, and it's just like, for a guy who, I've said this, for a guy who does this as much as he does, you'd think he'd be better at it. You think he'd be yeah. good at it, you know? Or just go back and watch all the Mike David stuff and just copy whatever the fuck he said about Melton. <laughs> he is my strategy. Or just know that you're never going to do it better than he did. <laughs> right. So you're not gonna, if that didn't destroy the man permanently, nothing will. Yeah, somebody already took a run at this, and it didn't pay off. It didn't work. And so now uh, I think he, he definitely has the leverage. He has the advantage. And uh, even even though he's melting down... I still think it's a tame response from John when it comes to people trashing his family uh, in in the grant. Or maybe he just has a special spot carved out for people like me and you, Carl. Um, but he seems to go after us a little bit more than he does other people. Do you well, see he, that? He has, well, he, listen, John can do no research on his own. Mm. So John's only ammo is what people supply to him. And, of course, for a while, there people were finding a lot of photos of me and my family. When I say people, you know what I'm talking about. Sure. And was sending it to John so that he could use that. Now, was that Patrick Melton's wife or girlfriend or fiance? I have no idea. I don't think John does either. Well, he that's the other thing. someone sends to him. He has no closure on it either. Right. <laughs> so, and, and I guess that leads into uh, a, a spinoff topic, which is his, his A-team, his go-to people that yes. are getting him this information that literally every day he doxes more and more of those people, whether it's showing his DM inbox the other day, which we got to see, or you know, now he's naming people uh, on a first name basis. I guess his private investigator that he's he's supposedly hired. Uh, is that what do uh, you Turbs know? Turbs McGurk? Is that who his private investigator is? I love when he's six Turbs on people. He's just like, all right, Turbs, you heard what he said. Go get him. It's on you. Yeah, I I have the screen grab of when he showed his DMs again. He's so yeah. stupid because he's staring at it for a while and he goes, oh no, oh shit, uh oh. And uh, it's 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 so funny because it's literally Turbs McGurk, Muttering Jay, of course, Robert Myers, of course, Clay Dabbler, of course, Disco Bob Ruiz, of course. But the funniest here is, of course, April Imholt. 
Ah. <laughs> and he messaged, he DM'd April, says, April, want to come on my show today? It's great. It's great. It's great. She doesn't have anything going on right now. She'll jump on and She's going to give you the exclusive, John, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that's where she wants to go right to. The, the mm-hmm. idea, though, that John has never once tried to book someone a week in advance, a few days in advance. Like, wouldn't it be great if you reached out to someone and said, hey, what's going on this month? I'd love to get you on the show sometime. Well, hello, the one and only Missy B. Check it in. Well, I'll stop uh, talking then. My listen, well, listen uh, I can't give John too much of a hard time for uh, late booking. I, I did hit up Miss Missy B. Uh, earlier today and ask her if she was available, and she very gracefully accepted. So thank you. Thank so April you. April said no to you too then and then you yes, went to Missy. Yes, April did not respond to me too. Are you uh, you might be muted there, Missy? Hello. Yeah, well, we don't hear goodness. you for some reason. <laughs> this is my favorite kind of woman. You can just look at them and you don't hear them. This is the best. <laughs> uh, all look, right. Look at those glasses she's wearing, Shuli. <laughs> what is that? She's a wearing- nose? What are those eyes? We went to the uh, John School of Put Downs. Uh, there you are. Yeah. There you are. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Hi, Missy. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me on. Nice to see you, Potato. Hello, Missy B. How are you? I'm good. I don't think I've been on a show with you like this. So this is an honor. No. Not since that one time. That one time <laughs> in <laughs> Rochester? Yes. <laughs> I ate your children for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Missy, thanks for joining us. We, we are, uh, our first topic is, you know, basically our first topic every week, which is who's in the doxing crosshairs of one stuttering John and his a team of, uh, of, of people that are sending him all this information that is just ruining people left and right. Yeah. Um, I was there for like what a hot minute. I, I didn't engage with him the way normally people do. Cause it's just like, I'm not going to. But I'm still gonna come back and shit on him. <laughs> like, but he can't get me. And also now I'm back on Twitter after like seven years of uh I just willfully left. Now I'm like back. It kind of feels like I relapsed though. Uh-oh, yeah, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. This is not the time to come back too. It's a real shit show <laughs> in there the now. Time to come back. Soon, you'll, <laughs> soon you'll be day drinking. This is uh this is a bad uh, move, Missy. <laughs> or or worse. Uh, and I did have a little tacos and you know, we had a yeah, message. yeah, we're good. We, just, you know, we're good. We're we're one drinkers now. We're like get a taco and a marg, and that's it. We're not sitting there with John making conversation at the corner of the bar, convincing people we were somebody. Oh. <laughs> and she's right. You know that conversation that he has on screen. You know he has it everywhere he goes and anyone well, he meets. Off screen, I think my favorite yeah. clip from this week. I played it on my emergency broadcast was when John had the Grubhub driver come to his house and uh, you know I cranked up the volume on it. You can hear him telling her that he's famous and that he's a celebrity and that he's famous and that he's a celebrity. He explained this to her multiple times. I don't think she cared. I don't nope. think she was interested in that at all. May not have even understood what he was saying, to be perfectly honest. You know, you I know? think maybe he's a narcissist. Maybe that's oh. why. You think? <laughs> that's why I would I that. would rather have someone come and harass me about my car's extended warranty. Than <laughs> <talk with John. laughs> I, I, I heard Missy B doesn't have extra coverage. <laughs> Go get her. Uh, Joe Dicker. First, he was the dues payer. Then he was the shit weigher. Now, Shuliegar faces his most challenging role: the room paperer. Scroll. Yes. Uh, thank you, Joe, and thank you for the five gifted from Joe and from Eugene. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Usually Joe it's does something. Chicken. There he goes. Uh, make love, ball Jew and hamburger man. Potato is good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Vince. Uh, thank you for the uh, carbs and snaggle teeth. Love it. You're very welcome. They're a favorite around here. You know that. Of course, Missy B. Carl signs his wife's name like a Berewusa. Yeah, yeah. so I, I do want to talk about that because yes. I, I, I have to say, and, and I apologize for this, this has been one of the slower John weeks. Would you agree with me on that? Like, he's running out of shit to do. It's very much a repetitive. Every day, it's Groundhog Day. But this, the, like, we got to set this up, right? So Vince yeah. 
to, so it goes back to the graffiti at allegedly Stevie Tomatoes. Yeah, so the John, story is yeah, John go John got into the shitter at Stevie Tomatoes. Normally I shit once a day, says the guy who chugs beer all night and has bleeding hemorrhoids. He normally shits <laughs> once a day. Okay. Very struggling <laughs> shit. Sure. So he goes, but but on this one day, I just I made an exception and I had to take a shit at Stevie Tomatoes. So he goes into the stall and there he is met with <laughs> the Sharpie that says FSJ FKB. So he took a photo of that. He alerted the manager. Well, I'm not sure about the timeline here because Vince convinced him it was my handwriting. And then he not only told Kevin Brennan on me, which, oh no, uh -oh. but he also told the manager of Stevie Tomatoes that I put graffiti in there and he claims that I am banned for life from Stevie Tomatoes. So I've gone ahead and proven the fact that that was not me. I was not at Stevie Tomatoes. He thinks I was in Cape Coral. I wasn't. And uh, I've put out videos proving that he's a liar, that he's wrong, and he's doubling and tripling down on it this week and claiming, no, it was definitely me. I'm definitely the one who put the graffiti in the, the restroom. Uh, my Clip thing with that, that he, wants to say, <laughs> he wants to say that like you drove there, but you rented a car, correct? Correct, yeah. They, they take down, they record your mileage. So you could easily ask Enterprise wherever you had rented from, and see what the starting mileage was and what the ending was upon your return. So you can, you, I, I know, we all know you didn't do it, but the fact that like, it's like you actually have hard evidence. I mean, the most evidence that we have against John is this Sharpie on his thumb. And it's like, what's his, what's his right. argument for that? It's like, what are you, what signs are you making right now that isn't, you know, FJV or whatever? Well, he, he claimed that he was making signs to keep the delivery people away, but yet he kept getting delivery people coming to his door the second he got back. Uh, shout out to Vince. So th he claims he made signs, but you that's that, that's bullshit. There's no signs up there. You know that. But yeah, I think it's very possible that John is the one who actually did the graffiti, took the photo of it in order to frame me. I'm being framed here. All I wanted is a cheeseburger and Stevie tomatoes next time I'm in Florida, and I can't do it now. Hey. And, let's, and let's not forget, I keep hammering this point home. This is the same week he was on his stream bragging about going to Staples to buy a Sharpie to make his <laughs> signs. <laughs> what? Yes, a few days earlier, he I was at Staples, I bought so Sharpies, oh my God. making signs. Two days later, all of a sudden there's Sharpie. And and I can and I'm I'm I've reenacted this in my head far too many times but i know he wrote the fsj first and he was done he he wiped his hands of it he thought god but he goes wait a second this is too obvious not gonna <laughs> fool me if i throw an fkb in there then it I, really must be lady k because who I, else well i i agree with you 100 percent, except for the fact that he put the fkb there to get Kevin to align with him, to be to be on wow. board with him, and together, together they will go after Carl. They will go after us. You know that's his sugar daddy. That's what he wants at the end of the day. Is I KB? Mean, have, you, have you guys ever watched Forensic Files, where like the yeah. criminal always like lists out exactly like they keep the receipt of the the chainsaw that they just bought the day before the murder, like. He has all these evidence. That's and they always evidence. they always Google how to use a chainsaw on human yeah. flesh. They always how have the dumbest Google S history. Like Carl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. How does Carl draw an ass in his Google history? <laughs> so going back to what, what, what the reason why we jumped into this, though, is that so I explained to John. So Vince is saying that he knows my handwriting is and how I draw S is because we text with each other. And then someone pointed out to John. How does that make sense? So then Vince <laughs> thinks of the line. But I love that somebody had to point out to yeah. him that that made no sense. And he goes, wait a minute, Vince, get in here and explain yourself. <laughs> yeah. Still didn't make sense, though. Like, no, no, it makes, it makes zero it sense. Make sense. So the, the only time you sign like a touch screen is when you like use a credit card or something at a checkout, you know, yeah. you have to sign some paperwork or something. So there's no time ever that I've written in cursive or in handwriting to a person via text has anyone no. ever done that no but also vince is completely like i know what vince was saying but he was like hybrid explaining where yeah that what he was talking about is that you can write a word in your text but it'll still Convert render it, it a standard yes. text yeah. so he was kind of using that because he also knows how stupid john is oh, that yes, he'll just correct. whack right onto that it, so right. it, it 
Correct. So, so I pointed out to John because uh, then John's like, wait a second. Why, why are you seeing his handwriting? So then Vince goes, well, you know, Carl bought that house in Cape Coral. And so we had to sign all this paperwork. And so we've all seen the paperwork. So I've seen his signature. So then I pointed out, there's no S's in my name. So why the fuck would you know how I write an S? And then John, his brilliance goes to Carl's wife name starts with an S. Ah. So now he has decided that I'm signing my wife's name on paperwork for some reason. Why would I ever do that? Jennifer? Jen. <laughs> Her well, last it, name. It, it, her cemetery? last name. But, her but, last name starts with an S. Yeah. But he, name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's also like, I know your wife bought your house, Carl. Like, this is a big <laughs> thing now, too. Wait, did he say that? No, but I'm oh, sure okay. that's what he's getting to. <laughs> yeah. He probably has. Who knows? I'm I'm but a day behind on this idiot. But it's also block letters, not cursive. <laughs> right. I don't know yeah. who signs are like I know John might just put a J. <sighs> <sighs> well john's excuse i was watching the other day john's excuse when someone's just like why would carl be signing his wife's name john goes why well, had my wife signed my name in all our paperwork because i'm ocd <laughs> <laughs> ocd explains everything with this guy why he doesn't wipe his asshole why he doesn't clean his house why he makes his wife do all the work it's all ocd it's amazing I i've signed my mom's name on many documents yeah probably everybody <laughs> does it <laughs> I feel like all you have to do to trick him is just answer him back really quickly as soon as he asks the question. It doesn't even have to make sense what you're saying, but just give yeah. him an answer and he'll and his brain's so slow, he just hears sounds and then when you're done talking he goes, uh uh uh, uh I got it. He's so biased and fixated. He already has his mind made up, you know, that's what he's like, this is that, this is that. Anything else to say is just white noise. Yeah. Why wouldn't you at some point so John, the big lie that I exposed John on is that he said that there is surveillance footage of me going into the bathroom and that's how he has proof that i'm the one who graffitied the the bathroom cell so i pointed out to john i wasn't in cape coral and missy yeah we could definitely go through the the rental car and look at mileage but right. also multiple people saw me in clearwater thursday night and saturday we had the show on friday Saturday, I was there with Dr. Steve, and uh, we were doing the Lucy Tightbox dating video. I'm on that video. So there's a lot of evidence that I was nowhere there, near Cape Coral. Or as the guy in the forensic files would go, there were still two hours of time <laughs> between. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine if, if I worked that into my schedule? I'm like, all right, what I'll do is I'll get up super early. Wait, what time does CB Tomatoes open? I got to look that up. I get up super early, drive to Cape Coral. Right, FSJ and the drive back. No one will be the wiser. His cell phone pinged on a tower near where the crime was committed. <laughs> uh, Carlos, also the, danger. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, there is also the key piece of evidence that Carl is a middle-aged man. And it's not likely <laughs> <laughs> driving two hours to smirch his enemies. Yeah. Also, right. that, that middle-aged man was busy that weekend, too. Yeah, he yeah, it was, a very, it was a very do. busy weekend for him. We were doing yeah. a live show, and it was a, it was a whole thing. But uh, just the fact that we proved John wrong because he was trying to make up this lie because he, he thinks that I'm afraid of the same things he's afraid of. Oh, he so thinks he thinks everybody by, is. Yeah. He also thinks we're as dumb as he is. So he, he makes up this lie that there's video surveillance footage of me going into the bathroom. And I was supposed to be like, oh, shit, they got me. So I explained, well, John, you're lying that you didn't. The manager didn't tell you they had that. You haven't seen it. You're making all this up. And he's been tripling down. Why wouldn't John at that point just go, all right, I was trying to fuck with Lady K. I, I, I was just trying to scare him. Like, just admit it. We but know that it now. Only, but that, that what he used on you only works for people who are guilty. Yes. I'll give a quick example. Uh, I had something stolen from me at Ant's house once. Um, Why, and was Chrissy over? <laughs> I was going to say, landscapers. Some, yeah, there the was somebody who stole something like of mine that I was very upset about. And uh, we were going through like the footage, who left, whatnot, and, uh, and we do it. We did have cameras in the kitchen, but the cameras weren't working, but they were up. Um, and this guy who we windled down to, I went full on. I, I ended up just calling his bluff and saying like, hey, man, we were looking at the cameras and we saw yeah. what was up. So just come clean. And he ended up coming clean and giving back my stuff. So... You know, that works when it actually is applied to someone who is guilty. Like, this, he's just stupid. He doesn't know how to apply this shit. Right. You, you can bluff someone who has a 2-7. Right. Yeah. They'll, they'll be like, all right, fine, you got me. But if you have pocket aces, you're going to go, no, I, I, I'm, I'm sticking with my hand here. Well, so, that's, right. 
that's the thing. The fact that he's dumb or insane enough to think that at that point you're supposed to go, okay, I did it when you didn't do it. Like that's crazy. That's crazy talk. Uh, Carlos danger toward the financial loss card of suffered from subreddit surfing live. Ouch. Thank Taking you, shots. Uh, London calling. Good evening. Cunts. Good evening. Cunt chops. Thank you. Uh, James Quinn, in honor of the pretty lady, could we see Carl's nips? Uh, maybe later. Top you mean of the tips. hour. Uh, you have to go to our patreon.com slash who are these podcasts in order to see that. <laughs> Big pepperoni nipples. Yeah. Uh, love you, boys, but even as gay, uh, Missy B is eye candy. There you go. Even Whoa. the gays love you, Missy B. Look at that, Missy cool. B. The gays don't even <laughs> like me. Right. It's impressive. Get the tips back. They'll come. All right, good point. That's true. She's right. Is, is this guy transitioning? <laughs> I was <Yeah>. going to say. <laughs> you, you had he him said I was, you lost him. He said I was wearing makeup the other day for some reason. He's, he's claiming that I'm transitioning. He just I don't know where very he, nice rosy cheeks. Yeah, I don't know where he's getting that from. Well, speaking of makeup, did you notice during that Lisa Guerrero interview that his face and forehead uh, looked uh, just spectacular? No no letter T in it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's how he looked. So we were experimenting yesterday on StreamYard. Oh, they, God. <laughs> oh, God. they have a touch my appearance up feature. And yep. boy, does that thing. I mean, you can crank that thing up to 11. And I think for sure he had that done or makeup. That's my theory. My, my buddy Drew Lane was messaging me about that show. Cause I guess he took it down the interview that he did. Yeah. Never has that guy had more snot running out of his nose during an episode <sighs> than that one. He's got this woman on that he's trying to impress. And this is what's so annoying about John and his runny nose. He can't afford more than one tissue. So he just keeps going back to the well with that same used tissue and just shoving it in his face over and over again, just re snotting the area. But it's he's like also a not a thing to do. But he's also not blowing his nose. He's no. he's dabbing it. He's like he's just he's just keeping everything there. Not to he's mention so on brand dabbling. Yes, yeah, dabbing. <laughs> and the second he gets back to L.A., it's like the faucets are on full blast in that apartment. It yes. will not stop. Carl had said like, and he he said at the in wherever the one in California, like it's the black mold. Like that stuff yes. will ruin you. It will destroy any it's that it's, it's the litter boxes. It's the cats, the cat hair. He never mold. cleans up because when he done. was in Florida again, when he was in Florida, all of a sudden you don't see any of that going on. Right. So his apartment is disgusting. Uh, well, not anymore. Uh, his neighbor cleaned for him. I know. Oh, that's that a topic nice. I got to bring up in a second is men cleaning for him. But uh, before we get to that, <laughs> Mojo Buffalo, here's roughly 489 towards the goal. The goal. Also, do you remember the 90s ham Hamsburger? You'll remember the 90s. <laughs> uh, Missy should be just as dressed as the potato. All right, you fucking creep. Get out of here. I see my shoulders. <laughs> what is that? is that what are you That's, showing so i'm showing you the first few seconds of yesterday's show just because i was starting to you know work on the package and stuff and you guys were talking about him wiping his nose as i was seeing God, his shirt is clean <laughs> so it's AI. Check, give it give it time the it's first AI. couple seconds Go ahead. can't hear it you don't have to it's, okay. that's oh, not God. the point <laughs> you don't need yeah <laughs> 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 oh god the used <laughs> tissue get a new <laughs> tissue <laughs> jesus christ he's got a snot the very watch. first thing he's doing I have, this, I have this crazy thing it's called a whole box of tissues i have it in the studio here it's amazing oh my oh. god guys i think i just came up with a great new game go ahead Our, we should dub the dabbler so we dub over what oh. the dabbler says you know I what like that's that. a good point his show is getting so repetitive and boring we, we should make his show interesting <laughs> i like that idea kind of like how baloney factory turns him into a cartoon yes we take him and, and use different voices well I'm he doesn't in. even properly pronunciate things so you can't he, he does not know how to talk so right. he's just like, blah, 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 blah. he's like an anime cartoon. You could put anything over him. <laughs> that was him. Hold on. Hold on, Missy B. You're, are you saying, are you suggesting that I could produce a game 
where I make Stuttering John say stupid things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's do it. I, think, I love it. I think that might be a little easy. Stupider. Oh, got it. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be clear. All right. <laughs> I mean. But every it's... now and again, you got to put in something real that he says and see if you can fool people. Because uh, just the other day, I, I heard him yell. He was talking to Mike Morris about, I don't know, whatever, photos in the background. And John goes, wait what I do. <laughs> well, how about what? this? How about this one? Listen to this clip. Play. The shit wear tried and successful, successfully got me to accidentally. Post <laughs> <a> product. <laughs> I mean, successfully got me to accidentally. <laughs> well, no, so the, the difference with this game would be that, like, you, he, he's talking, and then it, there's no audio. And you as a person have to replace what it, there's no right. options. So ah, you, it's I like it. The blank. It's not a multiple choice. So there, uh, there's a difference. Eugene on your shirt comment, the shirt looks clean, but since there's no logo, I bet he just turned the shirt inside <laughs> out. Yeah. That's probably, that's a level oh my of God. clean. Real quick when we're talking about his shirt. So there was a super chat that um, somebody said, Hey, you have uh, some up dog on your shirt. And so John's response is he's so stupid. He goes, Oh, it's probably just spitting or something. He's looking down at his shirt. It's like, no, no, the joke is you're supposed to say, What's up, dog? What's up, dog? Is the joke, John. Jesus I, I knew that, Carl. I wasn't giving in to it. Is, I knew is there that. is there some up dog on my shirt? I don't know. I've been I've been snotty today. I don't know. <sighs> I picture him going, What is up dog all about? You know, just fucking it up. Hamburger man is Vanda Vando. So sexy. Uh, I like oh. frost tips. Well, f fuck your harder, actually. Yeah, I am. I will confess. I was the one who uh, put the graffiti in the bathroom. Uh, Michael P. Carl crushing SJ on MLC. Uh, Cardiff, Tukey, OJ, SJ, row your boat, and Shuli buddy encounter are uh, my nominations for clip of the year uh, at DoddleCon 2. Go Bills. I love it. Yes. Ca good, yeah, good Carl. That that uh, Carl on MLC going off on everybody was great. Uh, SJ calls Carl Lady K. So by his logic, wouldn't Carl be in the ladies' re uh, restroom? Boom. Maybe that's okay. where John found it. Maybe. Uh, they speaking don't put of up with that in, in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of mysteries, did truly pee his pants? Yes, hundred percent. Yeah, I thought that was funny too. There's uh, like yeah. three marks on your jeans or something. Yeah. And, and they're like, well, he definitely pissed his pants because that's how piss works. Well, it's no, just that's a, you just get those little dabs like that. Slow news day on Vince's network. <laughs> yeah. He goes, uh, let me darken this in a little bit. And uh, all right, we got a breaking story. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. I'm here for the potato, potato world order. Who isn't here for the potato? Good question. Mason in Portland, Hackamania VIP ticket holder here. Will the potato be there? Mason in Portland. I, I can't <laughs> confirm or deny, but all I can say is promo code Tuki. There you go. Promo code WATP, 20% off Hackamania.com. Tuki gets 25% looking forward, off. Looking forward to meeting <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Looking forward to meeting you, Mason in Portland. <laughs> uh, the manager probably didn't care, and they'll have someone clean it up. The manager well, was... didn't care. We called her. <laughs> she didn't care. She's pissed. She... She's more pissed. She's yeah. like, just stop. Just stop. No, no, she's like care. the fucking Yelp reviews. Stop it with this. I thought they were but good re Yelp reviews. They were mostly positive, yeah. They're just but, talking shit about him. Yeah. The fact that she also said in the call, there's no graffiti. Yes. She goes, yeah. there's no graffiti. Stop it yeah. with this. I mean, it's, it's, it, and she's, uh, <laughs> I love that. He's like, he's such a Karen. He's running to management. He goes, they got to bring somebody in. They got to bring a crew in to clean yep. this up. And we're going to bill Carl. What do you think of that? And that's the thing that John would be most afraid of <laughs> is having to pay an invoice. Of so that's course. why he thought he could scare me with that. You have a pay an invoice lady came on. <laughs> Uh, Joe Dicker, as it as has been stated before, we all know when Carl writes an S, there's always two of them, and they look uh, like stylized <laughs> lightning bolts. Am I right, folks? It's the heritage. You can't take that away from I see what you did there. Uh, tetherball tool bag. <laughs> F Vince the lawyer. <laughs> Tukey world order. Thank you, Tetherball. Uh, Toby, thank you for becoming a I'm member. 
Uh, Tony, Ali and I uh, are are starting hashtag Justice for Carl. Everybody join. Yes. Yeah, let's get it going. I've been wrongfully accused. <laughs> Frame for a crime he didn't commit. <laughs> Should we doing a Rico tonight? Getting Stutter and John drunk scroll. Yeah, we'll do some Rico tonight for sure. Yeah, didn't you see uh, that Joe's working on it right now? Yeah. Super <laughs> Tater. Let's go. Jason Hughes loving some uh, Tukey. How will he spin the earthquake to his advantage? You know, that's a great question. Well, I'm sure. Yeah, go ahead. So uh, my my buddy Michael P who's in the chat right now is a Bills go fan. Bills. He, always, he always writes go Bills on, on everything. And so John once again goes, and this loser Lady K and the Bills lost four Super Bowls in a row. I was eight, John. I was <laughs> I was eight when the Bills were losing Super Bowls. I had very little to do with it. Oh, well, it's like I didn't sign up for the Israeli military when I was four. You yeah, know? what the you fuck, Shuli? You don't care coward. about your country? You just pronounced Israel. <laughs> Israel. Shul wait, where is that? Uh he here. Shuli Agar, son of Noga, a person born in Israel. Thank you. Thank you. Everything I about the way. Niga. <laughs> <laughs> Will the potato and crew be in Chicago anytime soon? Love the potato. Love Chicago. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I want to see the potato's boobs, please. They're called spores. <laughs> Pretty much called eyes, but patreon.com slash <laughs> <laughs> is that what your vagina is called? Uh, just tuned in. Levy had me the wrong time. This is the all star team for Point Dowel Point. Oh, hey, Frog. Danny, bro, thanks for the bucks. Hi. Thanks, Danny. Stuttering John laughs look like uh, John Goodman had a baby and kicked it in the face. Thank you, Killian. <laughs> I can see uh, that. The thing Stuttering John fears the most is being banned from a bar. Well, it's yeah. happened. It's mm -hmm. happened a few times, right? Yeah, we, we heard about the one time when he was uh, arguing with the bartender about Trump versus Biden or some shit. And she goes, John, we don't care about that. Get out of here. And then after we played, I was with Pat Oates on my show. We played the video of John confessing to this. John goes, Carl's making up lies. I was kicked out of a bar. <laughs> I was like, I'm just I reporting what you said. Yeah, he said, had a whole episode about it. It was great. But you're right. John saying that I'm no longer allowed to see me tomatoes, a place where I have no interest in ever going to. You know, there's more than one place to have uh, lunch and dinner at Cape Coral, which is oh, nice. Have you ever been there, though? I, I have been there once. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, can we look at your credit card statements? Yes, I have. <laughs> I have been to Cape Coral. It was back in February. I was there with some friends early February. I did play some Who Are These Podcast stickers. I think that those have been removed, unfortunately. It is funny. You did vandalize the bathroom. The last I time did. Yes. At Stevie Tomatoes. You're I not did. denying I, that. No, I, I put the Who Are These Podcast stickers in some choice locations, but I think they were removed, unfortunately. Well, I would, I, I'm an idiot. I thought that John would go back and visit his house more than twice a year. I didn't realize he was not going back ever. Well, to switch gears into that now, it's uh, it's coming up. Uh, it sounds like this move is is eminent but he left went to florida he gave his uh what's the guy's name guillermo guillermo yeah all the beers. guillermo is handyman in the building gave him all the beers that he doesn't want to drink um and he comes back and he says guillermo cleaned his entire apartment now you know I mean, we all know why this guy cleaned his apartment. It wasn't because of free beer. This guy works. It needed it. <laughs> it needed it. He works with, with the landlady who's running the building. He sees what's going on in there. Beer or no beer, this place is getting clean. He's out of there. Now they got a shot. That's the way I look at it. Hemorrhoid blood. Oh, that's, that's best case scenario, Missy. Just hemorrhoid blood. Imagine what else is lurking around. A pity clean. Somebody this said is a brand that. new building, right? Weren't these like fresh builds or no? They no, oh, Cape no. Coral. Cape Coral's a brand new building, but this place that he lives in Canoga, which he is still calling no, okay, a yeah. gated community. He's still calling it a John, it's not a gated community. It's a shithole in the ghetto. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone's getting into this gated community with ease. I don't know if you've noticed that. Squatters. Uh, John's uh, just yeah. better off with his squatters. <laughs> yeah. 
So uh, that's the that's one guy that cleaned for him. Then another guy came over and cleaned for him. Uh, his buddy came over to detail his motorcycle. But before we talk about that, I'd like to go around the room and see who here believes he is in possession uh, possession of this actual motorcycle. Uh, Carl, let's start well, with you. I, I have to say, I, I want to believe, John, that he owns this motorcycle, but I think even VTL pointed it out. The photo that John showed of him sitting on his bike, John has lost 30 pounds since Atlantic City. How is that possible? It's it's not, unless he's using all that YouTube money to just do eight ball after eight ball, but oh. didn't work for Artie. So I don't know, you know, I don't Interesting. know. That had glass in it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing that stopped him. <laughs> it's like a spike strip on a police chase. Um, yeah, I, I mean, that's what the do you debate think? now. What do you think, Shuley? Is that a real, is that his bike? His, it, listen, it's all, first of all, the box behind him that he claims was for pictures that he packed in that box. That looks like a TV that you would bring over from a different move from a different place. I know you can put pictures in them as well. Sure. But more importantly, the, there is a palm tree in the background. Mm -hmm. And somebody uh, did like a compare uh, to like when the season when he first moved in there and the length of said palm tree in that shot. And I believe it was sm it was smaller in the motorcycle shot, which means it wasn't taken currently. It was taken a while back. Which I would never post a photo to try to prove something that wasn't real. These fucking internet sleuths are amazing with what they can figure out. There's, you're not going to get away with that shit. Yeah. The war psychologist looked yeah. at the growth pattern of the <laughs> said palm tree. <laughs> well, and, and also his, his physique. That's I mean, that's yeah. very telling. His He's physique... Got He's got muscle really definition. Weird. He doesn't yeah. have that now. He doesn't have that. Carter, we, your thoughts? The the bike I've I think I've confirmed is the bike he's claimed was his a few years ago. His 2005 Harley, whatever it is. Still doesn't know what size engine it is. But, <laughs> he don't but build the, them. He rides them. Cardiff, go ahead. Uh, but the the detailing is what really got me thinking is he's, he he had someone come out there he had to go out to Florida uh, to sell the bike that mm -hmm. was that would because the point the trip to Florida out of nowhere four days like it made absolutely no sense for him to fly on Easter Sunday back well hold camp. on though it Ooh. was during spring break it was for the LA USD that is correct, that <laughs> is so correct. The, that's the one thing that makes sense is that John had the week off from substitute teaching but keep going but but again why go there for four days unless you had a purpose right. unless there was yeah. a reason four days I think the is reason... a purpose trip that's not a hangout trip yeah. right I agree so, so I think the bike was on uh, the bike was getting sold that week and that's why the the detailer had to come in and and, oh. and sh sh polish that turd interesting so he could sell that bike yeah because why didn't he ride it to stevie tomatoes so he claims uh, obviously there's he, he some a, he rode a motorcycle to stevie yes. tomatoes we some, people he are saying, <laughs> some people are saying he was riding bitch with his buddy but john claims he took an uber from uh, well, stevie tomatoes if you think about it the only time we've heard of him actually driving was when him and Hitman Dan took Hitman Dan's father's car. Right. Since that time, he's never mentioned riding his bike, driving over, no. none of that stuff. It's all no. been Ubers. No, he got 80 pounds of salt in his, oh, his, his saddlebags. Don't but that right. was But that was this time. He hasn't talked about it any other time. Right. Yes. That is correct. Right. Also, since you were talking about how he needs other men to clean his place, yes. remember when Hitman Dan, the last time he was in Florida, Hitman Dan <laughs> was visiting him. And they're out at the store, and Hitman Dan's like, well, you probably should buy, like, a vacuum cleaner and a mop. And John had none of these things. He never thought that owning a house means you should probably own some cleaning supplies. Not even so a fucking actually... Swiffer? Not even a Swiffer. Swiffer. Jesus. Swiffer. I mean, a broom. Let's start Let's start at square one. Forget Swiffer. Not even Swiffer. some Windex. He had, he yeah. had nothing to wipe down anything with. He's got no clean. I have a squeegee, though. I have a squeegee. <laughs> yeah, he's got the squeegee to clean up his stomach, and that's it. 
<laughs> I have uh, I have some breaking news. Uh, apparently, Frog has found something. Um, we interrupt our regularly special <laughs> program. Wait a minute. We just got this in. Breaking news. Breaking news. You have this clip you want to show us, Frog? Yeah, this, yeah, this is so bizarre. I, maybe I'm crazy. I'm pretty high, but um, so something right. comes out of his mouth, which isn't unusual. But watch this, right? You see it come out of his mouth? Oh, yeah. You see that? Yeah. Okay. yeah. But then yeah. right here, it looks like it <laughs> turns into wings, and it goes off in a completely different direction. Whoa! <laughs> see what's happening? <laughs> There's a what? second spitter. Fuck. A second yeah. spitter. What? A Why second a spitter. Make a ninety degree right turn like oh that. And does that God. not look like it sprouts wings and <laughs> it goes <laughs> back into the left? <laughs> That's one magic loogie. <laughs> so wow. Is John not real anymore? Are we just <laughs> the, goofing on AI? The matrix. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. goofing on AI at this point. <laughs> yeah, there's a glitch in the matrix. That's wild. Could you imagine John is the last laugh? He's just like, I haven't done a new episode in five years. These idiots <laughs> keep, keep oh, goofing on me. I would love that. I would love uh, that. Just I, would bow, back. I would bow at his feet. I'd say, me too. I'd be like, yeah. oh, you win, sir. I'd say, you, it, game, it. set, match, Melinda's. <laughs> what the uh, fuck do you think? What, what's the theory on that, Joe? What happened just now? It's almost like it hit yeah, something. I saw the same thing y'all saw. I think it looked like a moth fucking flew out of it. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I don't believe it's a moth, because if the moth went in, it would be soaked by the time it came out, and it wouldn't be able to fly. It would just drop like a like a like weight. Was that was that right before the bridge collapse in Baltimore? <laughs> was that the moth man coming out of John's mouth and warning? Interesting. Uh, great to see Missy here again. Missy does my favorite stuttering John impression. <laughs> uh, mm, thank you very much. <laughs> John probably used dry erase marker Oh, <laughs> on the graffiti. <laughs> he took the picture, then wiped it off on yeah. his hands. Uh, do you sign your name, Sir Carl? Oh, yes, that, like, that, that must be it. Yes. <laughs> and the have turned. <laughs> what, hey, is the, what is the very sensitive person? That that's like a thing you put at the end of your signature. Have really? you ever heard of that VSP? Like some people put that. I, m maybe not in a while, but I remember like years ago I would see that oh. in email signatures and shit. Yeah, I don't I talk to I pussies, bro. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, man. I, I'm sorry. I figured it out, Carl. I hate to out you like this. Uh -oh. Go ahead. Carl signs his name and then puts his pronouns at the end. <laughs> <laughs> she. <Yep. they. laughs> Good call. That must be it. <sighs> Uh, hey, Carl, my wife and I love your show. Oh, well, thank you very much. Uh, JDT, cheers to all my Delco friends. Love TSN, WATP, The Potato, and Tukey. Let's all get along. Kumi is a legend. Let's go, Brandon. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Love it. And throwing five out there. Let's go. Whoa. Uh, I'd, I'd give Missy my pork fried rice all over her. That's Brocco Lee uh, checking in. That's the Irish broccoli. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Easy, Shul. Don't diss the great Artie. I'm not dissing Artie. Uh, by stuttering John's logic, each pawn shop in Canoga Park is a gated community yes. as well. They have Correct. better security than John. I got news for you. Uh, John said yesterday, I don't have any embarrassment. Hit the no shit Sherlock drop, Carl. <laughs> I'm on it, buddy. I, I got you. No shit, Sherlock. No shit. Uh, this just in, I heard the motorcycle never graduated from Harley U. That's insane. Uh -oh. The pic of him on his bike, the garage floor is plain concrete. The Zillow listing photos show a finished garage floor that's painted with speckles. Boom. Mark Abatista. My private eye. Uh, Brock Lee. Hey, Missy. I like Hi. Mark name, by the way. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely not a moth. Moths are attracted to light, and John's never been bright or brilliant. Looney Good Tunes. Points. Good point. I was leaving, though. Yeah, yeah. Ah, the great penis wrinkle. Insure got stuttering John looking svelte on that bike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he claims it. Yeah, it's because he's been <laughs> drinking Insure. Uh, Missy and Cardiff are way too hot for this show. That's the problem. They're so hot, they make us look bad. 
Uh, can you guys let John know I have some slightly used Kleenex if he's interested? <laughs> it's so weird. He's never picked up a new tissue. And, well, and sometimes he grabs toilet paper. Sometimes it's a whole roll of paper towels. But it's never like fresh. It's it's always like used and crumpled and gross. I, I asked I asked Joe to pull uh, just you know a couple clips from this week uh, to kind of look back and reflect on some some stuff that he enjoyed. Uh, this is one of them here. Uh, oh wait, what's the time cue on this one? I may have fucked that up. Oh, it's not a copyright strike. No, it's it's the full package. Look at shit way I can't do a show. <laughs> hey! uh, no god. <laughs> No, you ever, you ever hear you. prep shit wager? That second clip was the motorcycle anyway. This first one's the more um, interesting one where he threatens us that if we don't stop doing the Uncle Rico show, he will take a job. Uh, right. You ain't going to make anything. You have to talk about me. But soon, you know what I'm going to do? That for sure, yes. Soon, this is what I'm going to do. If you don't change your fucking tune, if you if you continue this road down talking about me every fucking show, <laughs> this road down. <laughs> do you think he knows what he? Do you think he has an idea of what he wants to say when he opens his mouth? I I wonder that too. I think he has no idea where he's going with that. That's where the stuttering comes in. Despite, mm. you know, I believe all the other things, like when he's lying, when he's making things up, when he's nervous in front of celebrities, yes. And then I think it just also comes from just retardation. Ah. Yes. No, no one's Bam. ruling that out, you know? Bam. There is two things I'm going to do. Not bathe. I can't and wait. This till... is my warning. Yes, uh, potato. I... I can't wait till the retards are suing Missy B for that defamation. <laughs> right. A lot of people are coming after me. I just got put it back. <laughs> you think I'm like him? They're like yelling at you in court. <laughs> uh, to you. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Okay. We're in the this is my warning. If you're just tuning in, we're in the middle of a threat, guys. Just uh, catching you up to speed here. Do you brace yourself? Yep. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> find these now, motherfucker. Take your time, John. Motherfucker. No rush. He said on his oh. show the other day, he goes, "I don't care if I'm boring everybody." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, no, obviously. <laughs> that yeah. Again, the no shit Sherlock drop. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. I know I just tried it. Uh, 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 well, I'm sure uh, it'd be a good payoff, though, right? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, imagine him torturing you. Like, I'm going <laughs> to. You get what? Sorry, you, <laughs> you sit right there with those zip ties now. <laughs> yeah, he does. He He's good at building suspense. If, if yep. it's your first time tuning in, you're like, this is going to be good. But if you've watched him since you've. Since we've all watched him, you go, this is going nowhere. Yep. This is what I'm going to do, dickhead. Okay? This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> is he like, if you're going to play. <laughs> so now he puts up a picture of Mike's ex wife and him. This is his big reveal. This is, this is him tearing, tearing us apart. Play me every day. He doesn't know which way to move. And you're going to play this show every day. This is what I'm going to do. Okay? <laughs> Hey, Terry Lynn. This is what I'm going to do. Okay? I hope the people the Alame one. that own that picture don't sue him for copyright. <laughs> I know. So that's his big. And then what was number two? Did he even ever get to number two? He couldn't find number two, right? Yeah. Uh, frog, yeah. Number yeah. yeah. He never found number two, but he does give it away later where he says that he's going to play a song again as like a music bed. Uh, oh, even, underneath his show, so we won't be able to do his show anymore. Right, even though we've demonstrated that we can take it out very easily, but he thinks this time he's got a different song that, for whatever reason, we won't be able to take out, I guess. And he told his audience, this one won't be as annoying, was his exact quote, as the last song <laughs> we used. <laughs> Sorry, Carl, I used my I used yes. promo code Tukey for my VIP ticket, but if I see you there, uh, beers are on me. 
All right, that's him. Go to the world order. <laughs> his repetitive use of his family for content just reeks of desperation to hold on to this show and channel. Uh, this dabble, the Dabbleverse is a life raft in the sea of nothingness that is stuttering John's career and life. No, that's yeah. spot on. Uh, Barnes yeah. News does some of the best videos in uh, the Dabble uh, subreddit. And I, I have to say, if, if anyone is watching this, and they think like, well, you know, John just plays this character on his show and then he goes off and lives his normal life. No, his life is, is this bad and pathetic. It's, this is all real. Well, narcissists are characters. They, yeah. they have no real entity. They, they thrive off of extension of others. So that is clearly what John is, is just extension of others and things and whatnot. Like he has no uniform self-worth. You know, is that's a that's a good point, is. Missy, because I was just thinking about something that uh, I think it was Brian Johnson said on my show. <clears throat> that was a great point where we're talking about Kevin Brennan and Kevin Brennan is nothing without his enemies. Mm -hmm. Kevin is just he has enemies and that's what makes his personality or, the, or whoever he's mad at that day and who he's going against john's trying to pull that off and it's not working because everyone hates him like you have to have fans who also dislike your enemies <laughs> along with you to make that work so john's trying to be this guy just like yeah we're getting together today to hate julie and lady k and barbara and the potato and then everyone just watches goes no but we hate you way more john you suck yeah uh you know, it, and it's crazy what he's willing to do or look past when it comes to getting back at the people he doesn't like at that point in time. You know, the right. the muttering J account, you know, constantly publicly thanking the muttering J account. And it's like, you know, I look at it from like a, a dad point of view is like you have no shame, dude. You, you That's your flesh and blood that this guy annihilated and you're like thank you now on a on a public forum like that's because he's got nothing else i mean th that's th it. this, it, it's what it comes back to is that john doesn't have a friend in this world that's why he keeps going back to muttering jay aka vince the lawyer over and over again because he doesn't have a friend in the world well, well they all always need an a, um a villain narcissist yes. and like they, they always need that like i've always grown i grew up with one and every family event there was always a bad person just to shit on just so that they looked like the higher person at this event mm -hmm. and it's just it's a constant it's it's every time and, and it's in a different sometimes it's the same person but it's it's always somebody that they're shitting on just so that people see that or they think that people see that and go oh man that poor person can't believe they have to deal with that like that's not how people think but that's mm -hmm. how they think right. you are seeing them it's crazy. Well, someone someone sent him a super chat the other day, and it was like, John, think about it. You're blaming all of your problems on other people. You know, you got to look inward, understand what you're doing to end up in the predicament that you're in. All this information that John should have sat there and gone, yeah, let me ingest this. Let me think about this a little bit. Instead, John immediately goes, oh, you didn't put an apostrophe on that ass. And he's just like, like he, he always is deflecting. As soon as you tell him something real that he should be thinking about, that's when he goes into grammar police, John. Yeah, that was great, Carl, on your recent emergency uh, broadcast, bringing up that guy who had listed out all of the yeah, uh, that, narcissistic that, tropes. That doctor um, who really analyzes narcissistic personality disorder. Yeah. And it was incredible. He's just like, they lie about their IQ. Another thing that they love to do is triangulation, which is yes. getting another person to get in on this manipulative tactic that they need. They need somebody on their side. And then that person then could influence the other. So it's just... That's just a classic gaslighting, all that other. Yeah. But I, he he does the thing where you're 100% right about that triangulation thing, but he does it in a way where he almost throws those people under the bus oh, yeah. while, while trying to have them back up whatever statement he's making. So it's like, no, 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 no. Uh, what about, you know, Scott DePace? He was there, you know, and he'll just start oh, yeah. naming the people. Triangulation doesn't always yeah have to be oh another victim necessarily they are a victim in the broad scheme of it but right they are still a puppet or someone who could be easily manipulated to 
add to whatever manipulation tactic, whatever storyline is going on in the moment. Uh, like, so they can be used for both good and bad. They may hate that person, but they know that they have a little bit of a good in with them. To right. Into it. It, it, they're, they're fucking psychos. Yes. <laughs> yeah. and they, like, I know that we love fucking with John and we're all about like, cause he's so entertaining and he's so easily baited, but like these people, like they, there's no end to them. And I think that's kind of like where, you know, we see that there, there's always content about John. There is no end to them because this is their oxygen. Well, let me, let me throw this quick. Oh, go ahead, Carl. You wanted to say something? Well, you're, you're spot on it. Missy. And every time we get to a place and it's a cycle. Mm -hmm. So every, every now and again, we'll get to a place where we're like, Oh, poor John, everyone's piling on this guy. And what's he going to do? Is he going to do something bad to himself? And it's like, no, he has this personality disorder that he can't stop himself. He will continuously point the finger and explain to everyone that he's not the problem. Everybody else is. So it's so easy to continue to goof on this guy because of that personality disorder that he has. At least he has a personality disorder. What's Vince's excuse? Like, like who's, who's oh, nuttier, you know, who's <laughs> nuttier in the grand scheme of things. At least John like is literally at a point where he can't help it. This is who he is. Right. Vince has options and he chooses to be like that. That to me makes him crazier than John will ever be. Well, Shirley, you've dealt with Vince uh, IRL. Yeah. Do you, do you think that guy has a social life? Does he have friends he hangs out with? Like, what's his deal? I can't imagine he does. No, I don't think so. I, I maybe back in the day, but I think once he once he got out of uh, Long Island or and and you know went into business and became an attorney. No, I don't. I don't think he hung out with a lot of. I mean, look, the guy devoted thousands of dollars you know, tons of hours, countless amounts of energy to wiring and filming and recording high pitch, taking him to Yankee stadium, sitting it behind home plate, you know, all that shit costs money and it's all for the goof. And so now John is his high pitch. He's going right. to, he's going to get every drop out of him that he can for the goof. You know, but I, I do wonder, and it goes back to, I think Tukey was the first one who pointed this out. A lot of these people in the Delawares are just lonely losers. They just don't have real friendship in their life. Yeah, yeah, it's, and it's I, and I think he, I think he fancies himself like a wannabe stand up. So he, you know, he he thinks he's, you know, he's funny, and it's like it's just weird. It's yeah. it's it's a weird uh, approach to everything that that dude takes. Um, oh, it's got to uh, go somewhere. It's got to go somewhere, baby. That's right. This community is so amazing. Baby AJ received three gifts today from this wonderful community. Uh, AJ is one beautiful thing that came from the Dabbleverse. We love our TSN family. Thank you, Shuli, and everyone else. Oh, hey, Don. Oh, hey, Allie, Tony, and baby AJ. This is Allie and Tony met in the chat, are it's married amazing. now, and expecting their first uh, TSN baby, baby AJ. Oh, so. Awesome. Uh, John's ready whip can an all-star, uh, the grass was dead, uh, dead Brown. When stuttering John showed the car out front last week in the Harley pick, the grass is actual greenish, right? Um, that is correct. And, and frog, I was, I was accurate about that palm tree thing, right? Did I explain that correctly? Yeah. So the, the picture that was from January from the County property appraisers website, the, um, trees were bigger than they are in the photo that john sent or posted with his motorcycle meaning that they were the, that photo had to have been taken before or maybe the they're shrinking January. trees maybe they shrink and you're or an that, idiot Do you ever global, think of that? Warming. <laughs> global warming <laughs> Uh, there's no way the man has a license or safe car. He spits all over himself, his home. Uh, I bet he's never washed a car in his life. Hence hiring detailer Benzona. Thank you. Uh, Missy. Does, well, that's uh, real quick. That's one of the things where they go, why can't you detail your own bike? And he, and he looks at the camera and he goes, I'm not good at cleaning. <laughs> that's true. And it's like, that's it. That's what that's, <laughs> that's the answer. But it, if you know anyone, if there's anyone in your life that has a, has a Harley, has a motorcycle of any type that that's part of the, you, that's part of your time with the bike. It's, you just, you got a couple hours to kill. You you go in the garage. You you polish it up. You mm -hmm. clean it up. You'd like, it's it's part of the Harley lifestyle. You you, you take care of your bike yourself. You don't. Well, well Cardiff, I, I mean, you know this from being a guitarist, and John's a guitarist too. 
like cleaning up your guitar, putting on new strings and cleaning it all up and stuff like these are things that you do because you love your instrument and you want it to look nice. The same thing with a, a motorcycle. Does John not have any of that going on? Well, that was the most disgusting thing when he flipped his camera around that time. He just had that one guitar just leaned up against yeah. the wall in his in his apartment, like not even on a stand. Not even on a stand. Who does and that? And Leslie West and Leslie West signed that one too. It was crazy. just right next to the litter box, just this sitting there. Like twenty bucks. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're twenty bucks. And he'll he'll hang up his stupid uh, Lakers jersey, but he God. can't put a guitar signed by Leslie West up on the wall. Unbelievable. Uh, Missy, uh, Missy doesn't Cardiff uh, deserve a good woman? Peter O'Keefe says he does have a good woman, a great woman. Uh, a hamburger, a potato, a Hebrew national, and a side dish. Damn, what time is dinner? The nice. professor, ladies and gentlemen, Jed Allen. Uh, John is neither sm a smart man nor a dry man. Thank you, Uncle Jack, checking in. Always hydrated. <laughs> Carl, thoughts on Stefan Diggs being a Texan, FSJ? Yeah, uh, first off, the Bills got nothing in return, so it tells me they just wanted to get the, the guy out of town because he's being a pain in the ass. So that sucked. I will say it sucks to see Diggs go. He wasn't getting better. <laughs> he wasn't going to become a better player anytime soon. I just hope that the Bills can figure out who their wide receivers are in the offseason because we got nothing now. Uh, Pat Chan just got back home from work in Denmark to find the Mount Rushmore of PDP. FYI, I leave every TV YouTube page in hotel to something on the dabble verse, spreading the word internationally or dumbing the world. I, I guess it. depends how you look at Thank it. That's you, awesome. Pat. Tactic. That's Thanks, awesome. Pat. When I worked uh, at uh, E Bombs World, you guys familiar with? Uh, the sure. Oh, e I applied World. there, Carl. Why didn't you help me out? Did you really? I applied there when I was like graduating college. No shit, that's hilarious. 11, 2012, yeah. We could have, uh, we could have. Oh, I wasn't there anymore at that point. Uh, was it? Were you in New York, like the like West Side? I like, tr I was like one of those people who like traveled there and handed my resume. Like I was one of those desperate people. Like no shit. Kind of, yeah. No shit. So uh, <laughs> when I was at E Bombs World, it was owned by the guy who created it, E Bomb, here in Rochester, and then we sold to a company out in San Francisco, and I think 2005, 2000, no, 2008. Anyway. Doesn't matter. That's cool. I ended up working Glory for Glory days. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, what the fuck were they talking about? Why did they bring that up? What, what just happened on the screen? I don't uh, know, but did you have anything to do with the video? The kid shoving the bottle rocket up his ass and then lighting <laughs> yeah. it? Because that was one of my favorite on there. I love that, that was, one. That was all that was all me. Oh, that's I great. Forgot, I forgot why I brought that up now. <laughs> E-bombs world. Something about E-bombs world. No, you were working there and uh, something happened. And I'm the pothead and this guy. Oh, I know, right? I, 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 there was something on the screen that they just showed that I was going to tell a, a story about. And I completely blanked out what it was. Oh, boy. Oh, All boy. right, Chip. We'll move on. <laughs> oh, you were talking about leaving leaving Dalver <laughs> stuff on hotel screens. Oh, yes. yes that's yes. what it was. Thank you, Cardiff. Very Cardiff. good. Cardiff. Cardiff. So uh, my buddy e -bomb, the way that he got his website to be known is he would go in all the computer labs at all of the local colleges and universities and make that the homepage. Because, you know, like back in the day, you could switch. Well, I'm sure you, you can, still can. You can go in and make the browser or whatever it boots up, whatever homepage you want it to be. So he would go in and make e -bomb's world. And uh, that was actually a good tactic. It works. So thank you for doing that. Does work, man. Word of mouth can only get you so far, you know? Yeah, you got to cheat sometimes. Frog is awesome. Worth every penny. Reggie Dunlop, thank you. Thanks for I the time. I literally ten. get paid pennies. Yeah. Uh, Stuttering John is actually starting to grow on me like a mold. Look at that, turnkey. Uh, Mr. Payer, we are preparing a report on how Bob betrayed TSN by working with Vince the lawyer behind your back. Why are you allowing an employee to work with the enemy? This will be handled, Wink News. Uh, Panama man, thank you for becoming a member, my friend. Appreciate oh, my it. Paywall. Uh, yeah, I'm a loony loser. Thanks, Lady K. Docs. Uh oh. <laughs> lonely, uh, lonely loser. OFC. Uh, Stuttering John listens to DJ Dabbles. It's him singing. Duh. <laughs> Vito Bandito. Thank you. Jessica Hahn, Missy B, all of us ladies want to know how big Mr. Kumia's harg is uh, over under eight inches. Do not disclose my love life. Thank you. <laughs> I like that Jessica Hahn was on John's show. And, you know, John likes to play it safe just in case. 
He's like, yo, Jessica, if you want to get dinner sometime, it's on me. <laughs> I love that whoever gives him 50 or 100 bucks, they automatically are in the running to, if I'm in your area or yeah. you're in mine, you get free something from me, which you know is never going to happen. <laughs> Could you imagine day drinking with John? I can't imagine a worse afternoon. You know what? If he, legit, if he said, I'm starting tours where you can come, you know, like you see those bachelorette parties on those fucking bicycle things and they're <laughs> yeah, all drinking yeah. like if he did that himself he go you pedal and i sit and drink with you i think the guy can make money That's truly funny. we like i feel like the last time i've been on we've talked about some ace ideas for yes this i even did uh, what was the one that we talked about carl where i said like oh we should do like you know when you dress you know make up the homeless and you give them a good cleanup and like yes. you know if we did that with john like give him a good cleanup a, a solid haircut because these uh super cut cuts aren't doing it no but no. i think like he has such potential but like he really is in his own way and you're describing queer eye for the straight guy is what you're describing yeah, yes you know? and i agree i think that'd be hilarious <laughs> actually cut I, his fingernails i mean oh, the, clean the, under him at least yeah <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to cut them. Let's start by cleaning them, as he says. Oh, uh, wow. Wow. Uh, I'm a lonely loser. Yes, he is. I can vouch for that. <laughs> Air Melendez taking off. Cardiff's Patreon. Poor little Jew boy available now. Yeah. What, did you, re did you remix it? it? I know I well, reconstructed it, remixed it. I took the audio that's resurfaced, portions of the, of the music. I looped that. I took the audio from john's audiobook that carl uploaded to patreon obviously. <laughs> okay <laughs> and i got him singing the song so i've reconstructed the entire song uh from from stem to stern uh, available on patreon now is it as good as this new york <laughs> New York, that's a good night. That is, that is, that is. I don't know. That mine has a little bit of. Like. Mine has a little bit of producer Chris laughing over the doo 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 off. <laughs> so I think mine's better. I just love that he's winded, not not singing the lyrics in the middle of that song. Where he's like. <sighs> <laughs> he's winded he's winded it's unbelievable uh I, I don't know if we're past this point now but I, I wanted to go back to something if i may please in florida why is it that his mother doesn't appear to let him use the air conditioning mm. because if, when he was in florida he's always complaining how sweaty he is how hot yeah. i mean if i i, I, well, I just I got out of the shower this, what's he supposed to do of course he's sweaty <laughs> i was in florida the same time as him uh, it was hot, yes, but everywhere I was was air conditioned, so I wasn't complaining about sweating everywhere. Yeah, it's like living in Vegas and not turning the the air on. It's crazy. That is a good uh, question. It's a it's a brand new build, so you yeah. know he's got a brand new HVAC system in there. It probably works just fine. No mold. Is he yes. just cheap? Is he just trying to save money? Maybe that's the one bill she's not paying. So Maybe. he's like, "You're not gonna get me, Maybe. you sons of bitches," you know. Maybe that's it. My uh, pension isn't enough for the electric. <laughs> <laughs> can we? <laughs> my air costs me nothing, shit, way. Uh, can we convince John to start a cameo account? He had a cameo. Yeah, he used he to did. have one. He did. Uh, yeah. He did one for Anthony's birthday I think, <laughs> two, three years ago. Uh, I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, somebody has it. I think one of Ann's friends has it. I remember we listened to it. It was pretty funny. Uh, a beautiful woman, a potato, a Jew, and Grant's brother walk into a bar in Cape Coral. They're all banned. Stop I'm not of Jewish. Jew. Stop me if you heard this. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, Cardiff, Carl, Missy, Shuley, hell, even Frog. Look at hey, Lady Die. Hey, Lady Die. Uh, interesting that John doxes all kinds of private citizens, but has never named, to my knowledge, any of the models or centerf centerfolds he's allegedly been. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a good point. He'll bring up his ex-girlfriend's first and last names, talk about whether they swallowed his load, talk about whether they did anal or not, but for some reason can't bring up the names of the centerfolds. Or, uh, Tiger Lee says mommy pays that electrical bill and yelled at him. 
nah, it's for it. Maybe that's why it's got shut off. It's very possible. So was I, I was watching shit with you. I was watching John's show the other day. Yeah. And uh Super Chatter <laughs> came on. And uh, said, you know, maybe your jokes are funny for people with, uh, you know, ESL people. John didn't know. Captain Puerto Rican John Melendez didn't know what ESL meant. He goes, e- ESL, I don't, I don't know what that is. How is that possible? He lives in California. I, I he is, also. Is he a teacher too? Yeah, and he's a teacher. Well, didn't he have a, a super chat a couple shows ago that somebody put the DV in for Dabbleverse and he yes. was just stumped. He was like, what? DV? What? Uh, well, they used to put in SE all the time. And he's yeah. like, I don't, I don't know who that is. I don't know. SE. Yeah. <laughs> well, even, even the F word for the F slur for gays. He sat there for about 10 minutes. Uh, uh, <laughs> fruit. <laughs> Fruit well, that was loops. that was a funny moment too. Somebody called him out on uh, the F slur in in a song that he did, yep. uh, and then all of a sudden he had that random, you know, amnesia where he goes, ah, he goes I, I don't remember that. I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't. Classic I can't think of it. narcissistic uh, characterization. Yeah. They love forgetting. Well, well it he does the same thing when it comes to yelling my mom's name. Like he he'll sit there and he'll say, well, that, that Noga in the super chat was created because you guys were goofing on my mom. And then we found the clip of him long before that super chat name was ever created interviewing Joey C going, Joey, I got a Noga in my neck. You know what that's about? A Noga. So he's constantly changing the fucking story yeah so he's the victim so he did not draw first blood as he well, he's still say. saying that the reason why he calls me carla is because i used to go into his chat room as carla mm-hmm. and chat at him and i've told him many times and so has everyone else that that's not true but john still to this day I, I just the other day he goes why why are you misgendering carl it's not me carl came into my chat as carla uh no do guy, you think no do you think John makes an appearance at Hackamania? No. You know, I don't Definitely think so not. either. Um, even Definitely though it's not. A- I, I, I hope he would. I would love to see him show up there. If he does, it'll be a four connection, eight hour flight from <laughs> LA to Vegas. <laughs> but well, he, he's the only one that would take a 45 minute flight and turn it into a four hour journey. Uh, well, the only reason why Atlantic City worked for him was because. He had uh, Vince obviously pay for it. He had Broccoli there to pay for his drinks and all that stuff. And then his buddies, Hitman Dan and Dawn of the Dead, showed up. So mm-hmm. without that protection, without that coverage, and the Cubs just won. I'm sorry. I'm very distracted because they tried to give this game away. Oh, um, without that, <laughs> so that was good. So without that coverage, I can't imagine him showing up anywhere. And this is very much enemy territory with Patrick Melton and company being in uh, Vegas. Uh, does it kill stuttering John that Howard doesn't mention him? Yes. For John, absolutely. For John, absolutely. And he's he killed he's, Cabby too. Yeah. <laughs> fact. Uh, <laughs> he's, you know, he's, he's too delusional and, and like mentally warped to understand that you're gone. Like, that's just it. He doesn't talk about anybody. It's nothing personal. Well, that's actually not even true though, Shuli, because Howard was talking about John in 2008, 2009. Mm. And remember for a while after John left the show, Howard was goofing on him with his coffee cup and his mug and what he was doing with Jay Leno, but they were on a friendly basis, which is unheard of. I mean, this didn't happen with a lot of guys who leave the Stern show, but John was still on TV. And so Howard was still talking about him and they even got together because the wives were still connected. And so they got together for dinner and stuff. It wasn't until John went on Adam Carolla's morning show, morning radio show and said that Howard's cheap and they didn't pay him anything and they treated him like shit. And he's glad he left all things that were totally unnecessary for John to do. He decided just to burn that bridge. And that's when Howard played those clips and nuked the relationship right there. And, and he's like, he's dead to me. This is over now. Yeah. But for the, yeah, well, for the third April fools in a row, John <laughs> thought he could lure the Stern show in with a, guess what? I just talked to Baba Booey. Yeah. I know. Well, this one on the Stern time. show. Yeah. Go ahead. Missy. So stupid. 
Oh, Did you I want to say it. something? Oh, I, th- I thought you were leaning to say something. Like, but it, <laughs> this <laughing>. one, <laughs> this April Fools, he he upped the ante a little bit and went on the air and said, "I'll yes. be I'll be going on how just to make sure if people are going. Oh, it's this again? No, no, no. This time it's real. I'm going to bring it up on the show. I'll be on a day that they're not live. Uh, tune in, guys. <laughs> Special broadcast. Uh, Rails. Hey, Missy B. Any chance we could see those cute little feet of yours? He's got a problem. Cute little feet. They're like jujitsu mat burn, disgusting feet. You don't want to see them. Yeah, I don't think he minds. He's a weird dude. Uh, <laughs> Shuli, put on the rug. You're blinding us. My hair. You want me to put my hair on? Over here. I got it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, no way. That's the wrong way. Oh, oh, there actually, we go. Like there we go. Sorry, Carl it's hair? new. I'm getting used to this thing. It's for a courtesy of Dr. Neil Berliner, roast writer to the stars. All right. Uh, thank you. So uh, can you swap us back and forth a few times to see if anyone can tell which one's which? Yeah. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, till I get, wait till I get this frosted, dude. I'm going into a barbershop and I'm going, can I leave this here or do you need me to keep it on to frost it? Uh, John's uh, wink burp <laughs> doing prank calls back in the day with E Bombs World soundboards was oh. the greatest. Yes, I, I, I'll tell you a quick story. So, we had uh, Weez used to come down to E Bombs World, the brother Weez, a morning mm-hmm. radio guy here in Rochester, syndicated to New York City for a little while, but um, him and Opie had a relationship, and uh, I'll never forget. We played for Weez when someone used the Howard Stern soundboard to call the Howard Stern show. And so Weez, who hates Howard, because <laughs> Howard called him out for uh, his children and stuff, is sitting there listening to somebody using the e Real soundboard to prank Howard, and he fucking loved it. He's like, oh, yeah. this is actually amazing. Those soundboards we used to have um, turned into a lot of great content. They were great. They were yeah. great. Uh, is anyone a fan of Vince the Lawyer? I cannot stomach him. Uh, well, let's go around the horn, potato. Not a not a big fan. You, you know what? I'll always I'll I stand on this. Uh, I hated Vince the lawyer from the second I saw the RD video. Yeah, fuck that was that was the biggest dirt ball piece of shit I've ever seen. So, yeah. opportunist. Uh, Missy, thoughts? I'm not a fan of him. I don't know much about him, but every video I've seen, there's just something very untrustworthy about him. Obviously, he has lied. But even just at a first glance, you're just like, this is a Weasley guy. He's awkward. And I love that recently we found his Achilles heel is the uh, is his bald head. Yep. He needs to get one of uh, those, really. But we ha- be- Listen, he, we have uh, a new uh, emote that on our channel. It's just him with his hat off. So people can use that on here now. Uh, feel free. If I could give some advice to Vince, because I know he's watching. Go He's got to stop the fake laughing. <laughs> it, it's obnoxious. It doesn't work. It's not. No one's buying it. It's lame. Stop doing that. Well, and also people, people stomached Vince when he's when he was fucking with John. Sure. For whatever reason, he thinks he's going to get people to like him by, you know, being an ally to John. And that's the last thing they want. And it's really the. The, the number one reason why so many people hate you. And what's crazy about it is there's plenty more reasons to hate him. So, <laughs> right, you know, yeah. I mean, that's just not even on the don't first. Don't give them reasons. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't even think that. I mean, maybe there is a part of Vinny that used. Vincent, I don't know his fucking name. Vince. We call him Vince. Vince uh, yeah. I think he uses John, not just so much for his like, oh, John to get the public eye. But I think he sees him as this entertaining source of manipulation and it makes him feel superior Mm -hmm. because as a lawyer you know you're somebody who wants to stay in control you have people in your ring and all that so when he clearly is a failing lawyer at least i'm i'm getting that impression uh because if you had better things to do you wouldn't be fucking dealing with stuttering john so like this is him scraping the bottom to feel Mm -hmm. something close to being in control uh, and you know that's they're they're just like this weird like sucking each other off kind of relationship. <laughs> it's weird. The whole sixty nine thing going yeah. on there. That, that I would watch. Yeah, that's a show. <laughs> I agree with Carter. That's a show. 
Uh, any news on his Tonight Show reunion? Because we need pics of that debacle. Beautiful home, Missy. We're not going to need you to add uh, some wood. Well, we're going to need you to add some wood paneling, please. I, I got yeah. that. Uh, I got that. You know, what is it whitewashed ash wood or whatever it's called? All right, yeah. good. Yeah, you, you got to modernize your home with some wood paneling, Missy. There you go. Um. Well, uh, yeah, the Tonight Show reunion. Any any news on that? Any info? What is Anybody? happening in May? It's in May, I think, right? Yeah, I believe so. And there's uh, no way that's happening. I, I'm just dying to know who's who's gotten back to him, and an RSVP. You know? Well, it's I mean, he's paying great. he's paying for the appetizers and the signage, so I don't know who's <laughs> turning that down. <laughs> And he's already paid for the Sharpies, so. Yeah, he's already got the Sharpies. Do you think there's a chance in hell he could organize anything? No, he can barely uh -uh. get a guest on his show. No, he I can't think get if one I, person to show up at a certain time. I think if anything, the people that are in his world right now are helping him if uh, with organizing everything. That goes for Dabbleverse yes. shit, real life shit. Like that's the problem. He lets these people in because he's so lazy and dumb that he lets these people into his real life to to participate and help him with real life shit. And then when he's himself eventually at some point and shits on them or is done needing whatever he needs from them. Now, now you've created a terrorist, my friend. They're coming for you now. Speaking of which, John used to have uh, Hockey Canada Sean, a guy yes. I referred to as Hockey Puck yep. back in the day. And he was one of his mods and did a lot of things for him. And then Hockey Canada Sean went away. Mm -hmm. And we don't really hear from him. At least I don't. I, I, don't, I haven't seen him around. But John is calling him Hockey Puck now like I used to. And is very annoyed. He's like fired up about him. Like, what did Hockey Puck do recently to John? Why is he bringing this guy up again? I haven't seen him in years. What's what's happened? Do you know? I, I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a while. Um, but, uh, you know, again, it's people that he's wronged, that he's given access to his real life. So what do you think is going to happen, John? And at some point, I, I had this question earlier when Missy was talking about the, the narcissism and the triangulation and all that stuff. At this point in his life, there's no fixing this, right? This is who this guy is. Like, there's no changing this at this point, right? Right. Of course. No, there's definitely no changing. And But there's no <laughs> rock bottom he can hit and then all of a sudden be like. No, he's Shit. just a bottom feeder. Mm. He there. Somebody at uh, one of the super chats earlier said like, oh, I love this community. It's like this community is eventually just going to become like a like narcissistic healing <laughs> like mm -hmm. community be like is there a narcissist in your world this is how you can <laughs> save yourself and heal like this is what we're getting to we're already there you know how many people say they stop drinking while yeah. uh, watching john on watp that or rico beautiful. yeah but surely when we had uh, you had dr drew on yeah. this show and we were talking to dr drew and he said once guys reach about 60 years old they're not changing and, and well, narcissism gets worse as they yeah drew, drew would know cuts yes they drew has worked cut. with these people he knows yeah they get absolutely worse with age are you saying because their circle gets smaller and smaller of, of suppliers smaller, right the suppliers get smaller their um the the people's awareness of their behavior becomes more known so that's which is uh as a consequence of the circle gang well vice versa the circle gang close because of that, people are like, oh, well, fuck this guy. I'm not going to be part right. of it anymore. Or, you know, there's usually people who are respectful about it. They just don't talk about it. They just walk away. Uh, I mean, there's a couple comedians who can, you know, I'm not going to say attest to that, but we have seen that they're like, oh, I'm just not going to talk about him because they don't even want to get involved because they right. understand people like that. It's like the second you loop them in, you're looping them in and it's just this rinse and repeat and you do have to start finding a way to phase them out. But in turn, when you do phase out narcissists, they, if you completely like just go no contact, gray rocking, gray rocking is a okay, very muted, basic response. Um, they will start to love bomb, which is usually, you know, that's a, a term, yep. but they'll start just coming back to you with things or they'll provoke you if you're, you know, like find ways, which he has done with you guys. He, he's so, love bombing Kevin Brennan as we speak. <laughs> but he's yeah. love bombed everybody that he hates that's now. The, that's their tactic. So yeah. like, we were completely to go cold turkey and stop talking about this man and give him nothing, zero percent, 
uh, percent to latch on. He will find a way to provoke you to evoke some level of response so that it can he can then uh, snowball it back up into his control and his level of what serves him. Well, he's We're literally doing that with the whole Mike Morse mom picture uh, that Mike used to do. We haven't done that in weeks. Uh, per his request, he wanted us to stop doing it. It was bothering him, so we took it down. Since then, he's put up pictures of Mike's wife. He's put up her address, uh, ex-wife, Andrew, address. All, right, <laughs> right, all under the guides of they were doing this for years. So I'm, I'm in the right to continue doing this, even though I said – we need to leave family out of this. You know, it's amazing how they, you know, what he'll tell himself to, to, you know, keep this shit going. It's wild. Yeah. And, and you, I think we started, you started talking like, where's his bottom? Like what changes him? I mean, his family's already abandoned him, but I think, and I'm not wishing this on anyone and I wouldn't wish this on anyone, but once his, no, no, once his mom inevitably leaves this planet like we all will god forbid <laughs> and god, like, forbid. god forbid <clears throat> um it, he's he has no enablers left now moment. you wishing my mother dead potato <laughs> yeah cut the part out where i said i'm not wishing this on anyone and i wouldn't <laughs> wish this on anyone nobody uh, it deserves that but when Vince the lawyer finally sends that final Uber Eats delivery at 2 a.m. and she really yep. does slip on the jizz, on yep. Mike Morse's jizz, and falls down the stairs. can happen to uh, anybody, man. It can happen to anyone. And, and I don't wish that on the, the lovely woman, but she's his last enabler, I think, in his, in his, in his life. Like, li literally, she's living in her houses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. absolutely. And you, you guys were saying, is it a, is it? Any chance that uh, John will show up to what was the Hackmania? It was Hackmania. Hackmania. Promo code Tuki. Yeah, yeah I promo know. Code Tuki. I don't think the only way we could get John is if we make it like a, an intervention. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine with that. Intervention style, <laughs> like uh, DabbleCon slash intervention. Yeah, <laughs> we. I can't wait to see him charge for that door. Double mention. <laughs> John, there's people here who love you. John, John. And he's just gone. He just uh, I'm here to sit in the dunk tank. Uh, bad news. <laughs> We're actually going to try to help you today. <laughs> Even, yeah, you're really not going to like this. Who's the yeah, running right. cameraman for that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> bad news. There's no duck tank. What? <laughs> he gets, I was going to make 10 grand, you told me. It's a vitamin IV. <laughs> <laughs> I chatted about Bob and Stuttering John didn't know who that was. I chatted about Bob and Stuttering John didn't know who that was. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, and he was only like eight beers in, so he was sober. Yeah. Well, tonight should be a good. Hey. What's wrong with her? I think, uh, really uh, the I think she was party. trashing, oh, she she was trashing John's kids. She has <laughs> John. Uh, Shirley Card of Carl, Missy B, love you, God, that's gay. Eulogy to Cabby, uh, where he started talking about his own achievements after two seconds oh, was amazing. That's a great, Carol, that's a great thing to bring up from this Yeah, week. that's a great thing, because, you know, a few days have gone by, and I forgot that John goes on to talk about Cabby and their relationship and eulogize the guy, and he starts with showing Shuli and Cabby fighting, just to goof on Shuli. <laughs> And then that immediately turns into how amazing John was at the boxing match. Yeah. And I talked to Cabby about that fight we had at K-Rog and I thanked him because I was like, I was so nervous and out of my element being there that mm -hmm. that actually kind of made my, my run there at get John's job. At least something happened, you know, that like that, that was, uh, it went somewhere. You know what I yeah. mean? Like something. And, and it wasn't, it wasn't for him coming in there and being like, who the fuck is this asshole? Like it was great. And, and that's how he did radio. He was really great on radio, uh, shared everything on radio. That dude did not give a fuck. Yeah. He, he shared a little bit too much. Well, some, well I didn't say it was say. the right thing, but it, you know, he did it. He did it better than anybody. <laughs> but, but even that, like just to think the radio that cabbie and John did, together whether or not john was i mean john was involved in it whether or not he orchestrated whatever but he was involved with this john has missed so many great opportunities to actually put on a good show yeah mm -hmm. like there would be so nobody could tell more about the inside of the cabby john fight than john yeah what does john do he plays a clip oh, that was great yeah. that was fantastic. look at that because i i don't it. think he remembers 
Kurt, I, I don't he think doesn't. John's memory is very good. He's drank it all away. So instead he goes on YouTube, finds a clip, and then admires himself. Yeah. It's his insane. memories his memories are submerged. They're yeah. they're just in a pool of beer. They they can't come out. They they're just he's it's gone. Uh tell Vince the lawyer that Maury Maury's wigs don't fall off. Yeah, baby. Uh, your wig scares me <laughs> like Ralph's wig in the Sopran. Put yeah. it on, take it off, make up your fucking mind, people. There are two ways to treat whack packers. Love them and laughing with them, or Vince the lawyer's way. Be condescending, treat them like crap, and laughing at them. Correct. But the problem is Vince, that's how Vince treats you and Bob as well. Well, because he thinks we're whack packers. You, like you, he, you, you he ain't exactly. Shit. No, he's right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I came close. I definitely buzzed the tower. I'll say that. Surely, I think the guy that detailed stuttering John's bike can frost your hair, too. Thanks, Joe. I'll reach out. Uh, don't throw rocks at a bull who lives in a china shop if you can't fly with a seagull who identifies as an eagle. P-W-O. Daniel August. That old saying. <laughs> that old chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wink News identifies as Vince the lawyer. Uh, hashtag sock account. Yeah. If if anything, if it's praising Vince in any way, it's Vince's account. Uh, any of this apply to former radio hosts who are obsessed with posting about anything wrong that a black person did? Uh oh, Vegas beer sales. Jerry coming in hot. Member for seven <clears throat> months, by the way. Does John know you're a member for seven months? Vegas beer sales, Jerry. He's not going to be happy about that. Uh, I don't like that he thinks he's scaring you and winning. Please give him an attitude adjustment, please. Boom. That's the thing. People are like, go after his kids, show this, show that. And it's like, that's not going to change anything. That changes me. It doesn't change him. He doesn't care. Yeah. And you brought this up earlier, Shuli, and you're spot on with this. I never showed John's children on my show with one exception Lily was featured in an article online where she was talking about how she was almost homeless and had food insecurity. And so I was showing the article on my screen as I was reading it. And there's a photo of her in the article. That's really the only time we've ever shown as children or anything like that. But she was an adult and she was featured in an article. And that's what we were talking about. An adult about. loser. Yes. Definitely. 100%. <laughs> but John will use that. To then replay the video of me and my wife every single week for the right. next eight years in a row and justify it with that. Just like you were saying earlier, like, okay, we stopped putting John's mom in the background. Are we, are we, now what? You're still yeah. complaining about that. You still want, like, this is the thing that's so obvious to everyone. It's so transparent. John doesn't give a fuck about his family. Doesn't give a fuck about his kids. He's using them. He said this in Atlantic City. It was overheard. Melton reported on it. John is using his family because he thinks that that gives him the victimhood he needs to go, woe is me, and come after us. It's but pathetic. What about, but what about the, the, the tease that some big news in the Melendez family this week that he put out there? Like, you're, 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 you're asking for it at this point, yes. you dumb and so, fuck. And so I said, yeah, I heard a rumor that the his son's pregnant. Is pregnant. Yes. And John goes, I knew he would do this. Well, then, okay. Well, then I did it. So congratulations. What do you want? You wanted this to happen. You're, you're admitting it, you idiots. Uh, shout out. Just got to give a shout out to Tukey and Guy Stuff. I watched the latest uh, oh, installment. So, the best episode yet of Guy it's, Stuff. So funny. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. <laughs> uh, highly recommend it. John's it enlist it promo code Tukey. Thank you. <laughs> John's enlisting in the Navy with Lady Die soon. Uh, we'll see. Shirley, your wig looks like it was colored by John's dye. You'll need to reapply after showering. You got it, Looney Tunes. Um, yeah, yeah the John definitely dyes his own hair, right? Yeah, well, we we keep track of it. Whenever he showers, he loses, you know, loses the luster in that dye, and it yeah. starts more gray keeps coming out. Which but which is normal, but when he first gets the dye job done, there's no way even supercuts wouldn't fuck it up that bad, right? No. No, these are trade professionals, even at supercuts. I don't know. Even he, there, he, yeah. The, the the guy detailing his Harley is like, I paid you for two hours. There's 30 <laughs> minutes left. Come in the bathroom. 
<laughs> I'm gonna need you to touch up one other thing for me before you get out of here. Well, your your hands are very greasy. I wonder what we could do with that. Baby <laughs> cleaner is yummy. Uh, narcissists need that oxygen, but too much is disastrous. The ONA pests going after Maxwell, Jim Phillips, uh, Pharrell are perfect examples of this burnout. Aku, thank you. Uh, imagine AA with Stuttering John giving his resume every meeting. Oh, God, could you imagine? I mean, people go back to drinking. That'd be insane. They'd be like, I, I'm not. I don't understand the shit. second A in this. Anyway, I'm John Melendez. You know me from the Howard Stone show and Jay Leno. Wait, wait uh, I thought this was for awesome alcoholics. <laughs> yeah. oh, I was going to say alcoholic assholes. <laughs> uh, that'll work too. He's in on both. Starring John blocked me on Twitter when I asked him why he was bo uh, bothering his ass picketing for the writers. I asked, don't you need to be a writer? Blocked. Yeah, he's. Oh, that's the other thing, too. John was unblocking everyone, so he's going through his blocked list, which is always fun to hear. John's so thin skinned, he's constantly blocking people. But Penis Wrinkle, who's paying half of his salary at this point, yeah. apparently was blocked by John. I guess he got drunk and forgot this guy's donating to him nonstop. I appreciate Penis Wrinkle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shuli, think about my feelings and own him. All right, I, I will keep that in mind. Uh, I compared John to the goo that leaks from the bottom of a trash bag. He responded, that reminds me, I forgot to buy shampoo. This never gets old. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's dying it with beard dye. And what's worse, dummy thinks he's saving money by not buying permanent hair dye. I, I mean, I believe that. Yeah. I believe somebody sent him some hack, some life hack. You know, die hack, and he's doing. It. He's like a beard die. Nobody knows this. Everybody knows. Everybody can see it. Uh, all right. Listen, I think we're all caught up here. Uh, let's go around and get some plugs. Missy, you got anything you'd like to plug? Please. I I mean, I just joined Twitter again. Hey, wanna, where are you I'm, on Twitter? Uh, I'm uh, Miss Am First. So uh, M I S S A M. F I R S T, and uh, yeah, that's me. I'll probably um, I'm uh, I'm probably gonna get banned soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get in now it's while you can. It's yeah. harder. It's harder these days. Oh uh, yeah. I'm shadow banned, as you found out. It's very hard to yeah, find. Yeah, I was that. like, oh, like who can I follow? And then I put in who are these podcasts, and nothing came up. It's nothing. crazy. I don't know. I'm what paying I a lot of money for that. Uh, <laughs> penis wrinkle. Oh, I think it's, he it's got you too, pal. Don't I work. know it is. I know I'm Shadow Banned. Surely one shows up every single time. Yeah, yep. it's crazy. Uh, I think he got pissed because Carl praised me. Oh, I, sorry about that. I, I hate Peter Strickland. He's the worst. But again, he watches every second of everything uh, you and I do. Eb, Cardiff, Tukey, all of them. He watches all of it. Yep. So it's, it's amazing. It's amazing how he has the time for this. Mi uh, Missy made a statement about something in John's life being an extension of something else. Love you, Missy, but you're wrong. There's no X or shun. There's only stench. Boom. Look at See that. Did there? Huh? Huh? That's a word uh, joke. It is. It yeah. is. Uh, <laughs> listen, thank you. Every Oh, Cardiff, please. Uh, Patreon.com slash Cardiff Electric. Yeah, that's, that's the place to go. Like and subscribe there. The YouTube channel. And of course, hackmania.com promo code Tukey. And, and and real quick, back to Missy, uh, Spare Me, Anthony Cumia's uh, book available yes! for pre-order. Uh, pre-order on Amazon. He's up there as uh, number one broadcasting in books. I love that. So please, nice. and he has this adorable little face on the cover. I and won't he, go that far, but address the address uh, the recent Stuttering John escapades in this new Yeah, book. we actually were listening to the emergency broadcast earlier, uh, so... You know, he we're all in we all love watching John from afar. I me personally, I'm actually avoiding responding to him on Twitter because I just like don't want that. But if he wants to come at me, I'm 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 ready. <laughs> well, there's nothing more he uh, there's nothing he loves more than yelling at women. It's one thing That's I've true. noticed, you yes. know. So I think he'll be I and think there's he'll nothing wish more than I'm used to than getting yelled at by a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> 35 years of it <laughs> uh carl please go ahead plug away my friend <laughs> that's me laughing at you fucking losers <laughs> who are these.com is where you can go to find all things who are these podcasts who are these socials who are these broadcasters 
And of course, hackamania.com. Use the promo code Tuki. Whoops. Motherfucker. <laughs> hackamania.com. <laughs> promo code WATP. 20% off. And that is May 31st through June 2nd. We're going to be hanging out in Vegas. And I am very much looking forward to that. I guess we're looking for a bigger venue. A lot of tickets are being sold. It's going to be a fantastic event. We have live podcasting on Saturday. Who are these podcasts? The Creep Off, Tuki Soup. Apparently, Ray DeVito has a podcast. All sorts of things going to be happening. Pat Dixon. Mm -hmm. And we have live comedy Friday night and then uh, Sunday. We're playing poker. It's going to be a great time. So, uh, hackamania.com, promo code WATP, 20% off. Well said, John. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, hit like on your way out. Hit subscribe. We'll be back tonight with an episode of the Uncle Rico Show. Uh, thank you to all our guests, boys in the back. Everybody have a great afternoon. Shabbat shalom. We're out. Bye. Bye.